Okay, uh, now we're going to show you the mechanism of a radiometer. Um, you basically, if you zoom in here, you can see the radiometer has uh, basically four of these blades, and one side is coated black. One side is coated black, the other side is coated white. So when we put heat into this, either solar heat, light heat, some kind of heat, one side is uh, gonna be, okay, so you have a light source coming in here, okay, and let's say the side on this side is uh, black and the other side is white. So let's say this side is black and the other side is white, okay? Which one warms up quicker, white or black, okay? According to thermodynamics theory, the black heats up quicker, absorbs more heat. It also eventually radiates more heat too, but that's different now. But the black does heat up more, it absorbs more heat. So here's the mechanism of the radiometer. The air particles that are surrounding the black side and the air particles surrounding the other side, they're gonna start getting warmed up. Okay, because of the heat generated by the absorbing uh, plates, the black side is going to absorb more heat, it's going to heat up more, the air particles here are going to start heating up more. So the temperature of the, so the air particles on this side of the black plate are going to be higher than the temperature on the white side. We'll just write it as the temperature is lower, the temperature is higher. When the temperature is higher, what that means is the velocity of the particles over here are bouncing around a lot faster. And so when those particles are bouncing, 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 and they're hitting on the plate, okay, they're hitting on the plate, and then the other side, they're also bouncing, but less uh, quicker. So they're gonna be bouncing this way. The, as the particles are hitting the plate, the force that they're hitting with is not equal. Th these particles are gonna hit the plate with a greater force than the other side and therefore a greater pressure. So the net pressure on the uh, plate is to the left. Okay? And so therefore the net pressure and the net force due to the uh, air particles heating up more is towards the side facing white. So if I heat this up, it doesn't matter which direction I heat it up with, uh, this way or this way or this way or this way or this way, the thing will start spinning towards the direction of the white plates. And therefore, in this case, it's going to start spinning counterclockwise as observed from the top. Okay, so let's put it near the heat source. And it, it is spinning counterclockwise. If I bring it closer, it probably spins faster. It does spin counterclockwise. What a mechanism this is. Very exciting if we could utilize these one day and run motors and machines and stuff like that using the energy of a light bulb or the energy of the sun. Now what happens if I move it farther? Probably it's gonna slow down. Let's say, starting to slow down less and less, it's feeling the effect of the light bulb less and less. But it is interestingly still turning a little bit. Even though the light bulb is not that strong and we're pretty far from the light bulb, it is turning. And then we get it close. We could go, we could go here. Okay. It's gonna start turning again. This time, since we're on this side, this time it's rotating uh, clockwise. Okay, over there it was counterclockwise. Now it's rotating clockwise because it's pushing the blacks this way towards the whites. Okay, so you can see here whether this is a very interesting phenomenon and it illustrates that the black absorbs more heat and therefore the plates feel a net force towards the white plates. Thank you very much.